Hi, it's Sean Coast Mesa R&D. Today we're going to look at some BMW connecting rods. We're uh, modifying for a BMW 2002 model. This engine is going to be turbocharged in the final version. And we're going to take and do a little bit of work on the rods to lighten them up. And I want to show you how that's done. On the lathe I have a couple of connecting rods, as you can see. And the one here on the left is a stock rod. Pretty much um, has it came out of the engine. Uh, has been reconditioned on the big end already. And you can see that it's a pretty nice looking piece. It's a forged rod, which is good. Uh, has uh, through bolts and nuts to hold it together. One of the things I want you to notice on this is that tang slot. Normally on connecting rods, you'll find the tangs will be next to each other. In other words, you'll have one on the top half, one on the bottom half, but they'll always be on the same side. On the BMW, however, they put them on opposite sides. So make sure that if you're doing this model BMW that you get the uh, rod put back together correctly. On this other rod, I've already modified this one here, and as you can see, I've taken a bit of weight off the big end, and I'm going to actually show you how that's done on the lathe here in just another minute or so. But uh, what we've actually done is to take off about three millimeters from each side, and we've actually reduced the weight by over an ounce, or about 28 grams. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, we're going to start by putting the rod on the chuck. It's nice and tight. Bring this around. We're going to take and touch off on the rod. We're going to set our indicator at zero so we know how much material we're taking off. We want to take off the same amount on all sides. So we'll back this off. Make sure we're going to clear everything. Everything looks good. We're going to take a one millimeter or forty thousandths cut. Back and we'll move our tool over another forty thousandths or one millimeter. Take a final 40,000 to one millimeter cut. Alright, we'll stop right there. This is another view of what we just did. And as you can see, we've got a, a ridge that's big enough so that the connecting rod won't grind itself into the crank, which is an important thing. And now we'll go ahead and get started on the other side. Thank you. 
and that's it. We're going to take a stock rod and put it on the scale just to see how much it weighs. It looks like we're about 745 grams plus a little bit. And now we'll take one of the rods that we machined on the bottom. And we're going to see we're down to about 713.9-714 grams. So that's a fairly significant amount of weight reduction. And that allows us to spin the crank a little faster, get a little more RPM, and hopefully make a little bit more power. All that we have left to do on these uh, rods, once they're all finished, is to balance the rods end for end. And we'll go through that here in another video. John Edwards, Costa Mesa R&D. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free. See you soon.